Well, well, welcome everyone. It is Andrew here from IDB. Now there's a lot of people out there who want to jump to iOS 10 and now that we kind of have a stable beta version of a jailbreak for iOS 10.2 for select devices, we're going to walk you through how to do that. First, we need to download the actual IPA file itself from the Yalu 102 website. I'm going to use beta 3 here, but even by the time this video got out, we are on beta 6. You also need Cydia Impactor. It's available for many platforms, Mac, Windows, and Linux. So just pick your platform of choice and download those two files. I just put them here on my desktop so it'd be easy to see for this little demo. I'm then going to go ahead and install Cydia Impactor. If you do not have Impactor already installed, obviously you have to do this. If you have Impactor installed, this is really a step that you can skip and you can just go ahead and jump to the next one, which is going to be setting up your Apple ID. You do need to have an Apple ID, whether it's yours or a developer account but if you have two-factor authentication on you need to create an app specific password that you can do from apple id.apple.com so i have two-factor authentication on and i've got my unique password that i'm just going to use for impactor i'm going to open impactor plug in my phone and drag that ipa file onto the window itself i'm then going to put in my email and my password the one that we just created from the apple id website since i have two-factor authentication on It'll give me a quick warning because I am a developer, but I can just kind of pass through that. And now we're just going to let it run for a minute. Now I'm going to be doing this on my iPhone 6 Plus. It does not work on all devices. There are definitely limitations to this jailbreak and it still is in beta, but it was very stable for me. So then my phone is kind of going to reboot or respring and I'll have this little app here on the second uh, screen of my iPhone. Now, if you are not a developer, you will have to go into device management inside of your general settings and trust this developer. You'll see that little app pop in there. But once you've gone ahead and done that, you can tap on go. I kind of sped this along for the video, but it'll kind of hover there for a second. The screen will go black. It spun around a little bit for me. Eventually the screen came back on and alongside my jailbreak icon, I now have the old Cydia app store. So that is it. That is how you jailbreak your select devices on iOS 10 through iOS 10.2. It will not work on iOS 10.2.1. So do not go to that uh, version of iOS. If you want to make sure your device is uh, available, make sure you check the description below as well as the Yalu website. It'll give you full information there. In the description as well as a written walkthrough of this guide, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.